Hi everyone, this is Ellen Marie Francisco. Welcome to my channel. We're here today doing our channel to pick a card reading for June 2021. There are four cards to choose from. Choose one or two that call to you and let's see where you are and what themes you're working on. The energies definitely are moving in every direction right now, so be careful not to get caught in a flurry of unnecessary action just because you want to make something happen. This month is asking you to be present in the reality of your own truth, good or bad or otherwise. Surrender to your own reality, accept where you are, and believe that the truth will set you free. Remember that you are a spiritual being having a human experience. You are so much bigger than anyone has ever allowed you to be, including yourself, so much larger than society has been able to allow for. This time on earth is ripe with opportunities to break through preconditioned limitations in every direction and leap into realms of endless possibilities. There are just too many of us ready to make the jump. The beings I channel for this monthly reading have a perspective I hope you will find helpful. Here we go. Card number one, Ten of Worlds, Reward. We're playing a Jupiterian Wheel of Fortune this month on a personal level while the outer planets tug on our outer world structures, continuing to dissolve normalcy as everything tries to recreate itself into a better working model. Tall order. Fill the card with that one. It's true. Baloney can sneak into the card sometimes. Good thing Jupiter expands your blessings under this cycle. The grand total is that you're finding parts of your life fitting into better alignment one way or another. You are expanding into daring new versions of yourself as a result and are being rewarded for your efforts in ways you've only dreamed of. But it was that hopeful dreaming that got you here to begin with. So way to go. Good deal. You were able to rise above and have faith during difficult times. Universe is always waiting to bestow blessings onto you and much of it can get stimmied by negative beliefs around your own self-worth. Universe recognizes you have done your homework. It's recorded in that book of lessons you carry around mixed in with the universal gift cards already in your wallet. Mystery shoppers are trying to fill your order with happy blessings right now. Relax and receive these blessings. Now is not the time to bargain shop your self-worth. You've been the sleuth in your own life for quite some time, searching for the right way to do things, reaching for higher ground. Your values have shifted. You are reaching new heights. Universe is giving you a leg up. Thin out old and overworn items. Open your hand to receive new blessings and abundances take time to enjoy the bounty you've already managed to manifest and definitely do not put anything in your cart you do not want. Do not send the universe the subliminal message you're putting things in your cart you don't ultimately want. Don't shortchange your future. In simpler terms, do not buy things you do not want, literally or figuratively. You may have the feeling that something big is about to happen, something you've waited a long time for. Some of your deepest dreams want out to shine in the light. Universe is pleased with the work you've put in to get this far. Your own value is increasing in that you're finding your own worth and holding value in it. Card number two, four of wands, aspiration, Wands symbolize your spirit. They are associated with eternal light. Anyone aspiring to new heights knows the climb it takes to reach the top. To overcome the fight that rages within and the deep-seated wounds wound into you, you are motivated to rise above everything, obstacles, interferences, and sidestepping distractions. And with so many planets working in your favor, you have the drive to get the job done. Distraction is near impossible now as you reach out and grab what you need from life, understanding now that the only limits you have are the ones you've placed on yourself. So steer clear of distractions, reach for the sky. 
You are reaching into parts of you and conquering self-sabotaging behaviors and lack of commitment. You need to be recognized for your efforts. You've got enough soul on fire verve, your spirit can barely be contained. You need a fist bump with humanity and some I see you authenticity. You are searching for your place in the world as you crave the company of the masses. What direction are you heading with a single purpose and unwavering dedication? Wherever you're going, you're going with a firmer footing and an adequate foundation to build from. Your driving force wants to get on the road, so crush the roadblocks and dare to reach. Liberate yourself in order to freely be all that you can be. Illumination and purification go hand in hand. If you're freeing yourself from self imposed bondage. Relish in your newfound freedom and take some time to purify your lungs with newfound air and much deeper breathing. Card number three, Sage of Cups, Regenerator. With too many memories of burning the candle at both ends, you've learned through your own inner messages where your vulnerabilities lie and how to strengthen your own weaknesses. This is a time to continue ultimate self-care. Be your own best friend. Take all the time you need to do all the things you need. Pay heed to the yearnings on a body level that need attention. Carve out one on one time. Be your own happiness project. Make sure you have time built into your schedule to enjoy the simple things that help you connect to Mother Earth and her blessings. Ground into yourself knowing she's got you. Breathe in the beautiful sense that life has to offer during this unfolding season. Tune into your own cyclical nature and how you have your own ebbs and flows. And try not to ebb your flows or flow your ebb. Don't worry so much about the human doing right now. Water is purifying and cleansing, so splash around. Let emotions splash and spill. Live your emotional truth. Tap into love, especially when it's hard to reach. Just keep reaching for it. Self-dominion shows proof of itself in this card. You are fluid in your ability to mold the environment around you. You have the expertise that comes with experience and have tempered your own impatience remarkably well. Sometimes you do have to turn the world off to turn yourself on. Finding the right balance is paramount. Try hard not to cling to old ways of doing things just because of their familiarity. Test them to make sure they are still the best way for you. Allow those around you to clunk around with their own truths. We all have a direct connection to the divine, but our responsibilities to the divine are different. So give ourselves, so give others the grace to find themselves without meddling in controlling ways. Work instead on regenerating your own sense of self in your own divine directions. Card number four, Devil's Play. These are extreme times. Find ways to poke fun at yourself lovingly and try to keep things light. If you are in need of some boisterous fun, you are not alone. But using the devil to do your dirty work is opening a can of worms better left untouched. This is not a time to be in the company of negative people or those you've already identified as psychic vampires or anyone you just don't feel right being around. Veils are down, oars are thin, people are vulnerable, lots of things are out there wanting to share space with you. Devils like to play your weakness against you. Protect your thoughts by keeping them as positive as possible and release unnecessary attachment to any specific outcome in order to minimize expectations going awry. And if your hands are idle, then something constructive needs to be done. Play somehow that enhances your own inner goals. Be aware that small indulgences lead to habits, lead to addictions, lead to more self-defeating behavior. It's easy to disappear into a haze of confusion during this month and feel like you may be steeped in a hot, soupy mess. You are sensitive enough to feel these things around you, but may have a hard time accepting they are real. Even delusions are running high during this period, so it's your own connection to all your inner knowing, your all-knowing inner truth, that's going to help you interpret your own messages appropriately. Don't just stay in your own mind space. 
that may be a crash course in self-destruction and self-defeating tendencies if you don't have the right channel tuned in. If you are in this place, understand. You may be forced to look at unpleasant trees so you can weed them out of your consciousness. There is an opportunity for deep healing if you could only accept you need it. Don't believe the voices that tell you you are less than, incapable, or never going to get there. Play with your shadow by understanding its limited perspective and poke fun at its own serious nature. Your shadow has unhealthy exaggerations. Just look at your own shadow cast on a sidewalk on a sunny day. It's gigantic and so out of proportion to your true being. Keep that in mind. It is not fair to you to only see what went wrong when most things went right. Often before a breakthrough, we go through a blind faith phase. You may need the support of loved ones and true allies to help bolster you to a brighter frame of mind and help you see your own beauty. Do not make any decisions that do not feel right under this influence. Don't jump into things just because you need something to happen, only to find it was the wrong action to take overall. When in doubt, don't. Wait for the clouds of confusion to blow out of your field of vision. Trust that clarity follows. That's what I have so far, everyone. I hope you get something out of this. Take what you can and leave the rest behind. And have a beautiful day. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.